This is part of an ongoing series of tips on arranging music for solo guitar and becoming your own one-person band. In the last video, we talked about dividing up the strings, playing your melody mostly on strings one and two, sometimes on string three, and then playing your chords and bass on the other strings. While I mostly like to play my melody on strings one and two, sometimes I will put the melody in the bass, either to an extended arrangement or just for variety. Usually the higher voices get the melody, the sopranos in a choir, the violins in an orchestra, and strings one and two in solo guitar playing. The reason for this is that the melody can be heard more clearly on the higher notes. When you put the melody in the bass, it's easy for the melody to get buried, and because of this we need to find ways to bring the melody out. Here's the melody for Shady Grove. <laughs> Let's say you want to put this melody in the bass. Here I chose to play the melody notes alone and just strum chords in the spaces. This is a pretty effective way to bring out the melody in the bass. We still have some harmony, and by adding chords in the spaces, we keep the momentum and the rhythm going. In the parting glass, I mostly put the melody on the higher strings. I felt like the melody was too short, so I decided to extend it, but I didn't want my listeners to get bored, so at the beginning of verse two, I put the melody in the bass. In this section, I cut out the chords all together. The listener has heard plenty of harmony in the first verse, plus this is such a strong melody that it really doesn't need that much harmonic support. So in this case, I just stuck to the melody and occasionally added some octaves. And these octaves aren't random, they always appear on beats two and three. Two, three. Two, three. And because they happen regularly, they give the arrangement a bit of stability. But the gist of this is that you can lighten up on the upper harmonies if you want to make sure your bass melody is heard. Whether you put your melody in the bass or on the high strings, it's important to pick a key that lends itself to solo guitar playing, and that's what we're going to talk about in the next video, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.